Hello, and thank you for joining another 5-Minute Fundamentals. My name is Justin Vasquez, and today I want to discuss with you two, two solutions offered by National Guard products. The first solution is called Gap90. This is installed at a hollow metal frame, and it is used to remove excessive gaps that are found in fire-rated doors um, at the face of the door and also at the edge of the door when it meets the um, hollow metal frame. Let's take a look at what it looks like and how it works. So, gap 90 is a three-part solution. You have the 9945 soffit-mounted soffit um, U-shaped channel. You have the 5075 piece of adhesive gasketing. And then you have the 9400 intumescent seal. The first part, which is mounted on the soffit, this eliminates the gap that is found at the face of the door where it meets the stop. And how it works is, it, when the door is in a closed position, if you have a gap that exceeds one eighth of an inch, you would use this piece right here, you would slide it over until it meets compliance, you would mark your holes, and then you would fasten it with the, with the um, provided self-tapping screws. The next piece is this one right here. This piece of gasketing is used um, for whenever the door is in the closed position and the edge of the door uh, has an excessive gap of over one eighth of an inch where it meets the um, the rabbit of the frame. And so this will remove any gaps up to five sixteenths of an inch. And the last part that we're going to look at is the intumescent seal. When the door is in the closed position, this seal right here in the event of a fire will expand up to five sixteenths of an inch, sealing any gaps that you might have. The next product that I want to take a look at is the 9590 Intumescent Door Bottom System. I don't have a uh, door to show you, but this is what it looks like. You have an L-shaped piece, you have a door sweep, and then you have an end cap. And here's how it works together. On the Whenever you close the door, you measure the gap that you have from the um, finished floor to the bottom of the fire rated opening. And then on the pull side of the opening, you mount this L-shaped bracket. And so what you do is you will slide it down the face of the door until you meet um, you know, the desired clearance that you want to have. And then you, you mark your holes and then you fasten it with the uh, provided screws. As you notice in here, you have a piece of intumescent strip that will expand and it will seal the gap up to one and a half inches. Next, you'll see this door sweep. And on the push side of the opening, you'll mount the door sweep and you want it to be one quarter of an inch below the L-shaped bracket, just like you see here in, um, the, you know, in my demonstration. And so what this will do is it will seal the gap from face to face. Now, we want to be able to seal the edge so what we'll use is the end cap. So we take the end cap and we place it into, um, or we mount it onto the edge of the door, both on the um, on both sides, on the lock and the hinge side. And what this does is it creates a complete seal between the door sweep, the L bracket, and then the end cap. And so a door that was once out of compliance, maybe up to one and a half inches, is now in is now um, Rateable. It now is. Um, it now meets life safety um, or NFPA 80, and um, it's rateable again. What these solutions provide is a cost-effective way of um, bringing your doors that were once out of compliance back into compliance, and they give you the benefit of not having to remove and replace doors and frames. So. If you find any of this information beneficial, please reach out to me anytime. If you have any questions, comments, um, my, I'm easily locatable. You can contact me at justin at jljonesgroup.com or you can even call me on my cell. Uh, thank you again for joining into a 5-Minute Fundamentals and I look forward to seeing you next time.